In this video, I'll show you how to schedule WooCommerce price changes in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so throughout this video, I'll be showing you two different methods, okay? So I'll be showing you how to schedule a sale price using a WooCommerce default method. And I'll also show you how to schedule a different um, pricing strategies using the WeSuite Dynamic Pricing and Discount plugin. Okay, as I mentioned, we'll be using the WeSuite Dynamic Pricing and Discount Rules plugin. And again, with this particular plugin, you can create numerous different offers. So for example, you can create a buy one, get one free offer, a tiered price enough for bulk pricing you can go ahead and create the bundled offers percentage um, discount and so much more okay so with that said head over to wesuite.com go ahead and download the dynamic pricing and discount rules plugin i'll leave the link in the description below and with that said let's head over to our dashboard okay so we'll go with the first method okay so we'll just go ahead and schedule a sale price using a WooCommerce default sales field okay so just navigate over to your product page okay and then under your regular price you'll see the sales price option here and then next to it we've got this schedule price okay so we can say we'll put this on sale for a hundred dollars for example or pounds whatever your currency is and then we'll click this schedule button here okay and then we can schedule it from let's say today's date to sometime in the future let's say this is a one week sale okay and then this price will be on sale for this duration okay so let's just update this okay and let's go ahead and view our product okay as you can see it's on sale for a hundred dollars which is perfect so now we'll go ahead and schedule some prices for our dynamic pricing and discount rules um, plugin okay so assuming you've downloaded that particular plugin the first thing you want to do is go ahead and upload the plugin so you go plugins add new go ahead and upload and install the WeSuite dynamic pricing and discount rules plugin once you've done so you'll see this WeSuite menu here go ahead and activate your license key okay from here and then it'll automatically redirect you to this add-on section okay okay and then from here all we need to do is just go ahead and click install and then just go ahead and toggle this dynamic price and then discount rules plugin to on okay and now we can go ahead and click manage so i'll give you a quick overview of the different types of rules you can create and then we'll go ahead and schedule a promotion okay so we can create order total rules so um, offers such as spend over a um, hundred dollars and get 10 percent off or something like that okay this is where you'd create that type of rule um, at checkout fees so you can add additional fees on top of the customer's purchase on the checkout you can create role based rules category based rules and then for the advanced rules you can create um, bundled um, offers such as um, get any free items from our t-shirt categories for ninety dollars for example okay you can create tiered pricing um, rules bonded pricing um, buy one get one free offers and so much more okay and that's all under this advanced tab on the product level so let's quickly switch to the product level let's click edit let's edit this product and now on the product level we've got this extra tab here okay which says pricing discount rules so let's firstly remove this one okay so that's removed fine okay and now when we click on our pricing discount rules here we can go ahead and add a new pricing group okay so we can decide who we want to um, target this rule to, okay? So we can set it to everyone. We can set it to guest users, which are users logged out of your site, a specific user role. For example, many of our customers, that they sell to retail customers and B2B customers. So in this case, maybe they only want to run this particular offer to their retail customers, for example, okay? So here's where you'd specify that information here. Um, again, you can add a further condition onto it that the customer needs to be a first time buyer okay so they need to be a new customer to your website so if that's the case you just go ahead and enable this option okay so we can set the quantities based on the product quantity and um, a variation quantity it doesn't make sense in this case because this is a single product but if it was a variable product you might want to create a discount for a specific um, variation okay and we've got line item quantity and a quantity of a particular category okay so i'm just going to leave mine to product quantity here and then for the processing mode we can select bulk pricing okay or tiered pricing or a special offer such as buy one get one free or buy two get your third one 50 percent off the third one for example okay buy three items get the third one um 50 percent off so you can create those sorts of rules okay and in our case to schedule it we'll go ahead and select our date range here so we can just like earlier we can specify a date 
date so we can say from today's date and we'll run it to the same time next week for example okay and since this is a bulk pricing um, rule we'll say the customer needs to spend um, two or more items okay we'll put an asterisk sign for above a so we can give them a price discount so we can say they'll get fixed ten dollars off or a percentage discount a fixed price okay so price discount is basically um, for example we can say they'll get five dollars off per item okay or we can say we'll give them a fixed discount so regardless of how much they purchase as long as it's above two we'll give them a fixed discount okay so here i'm just going to select a percentage discount okay okay and then we can say five percent for example okay and we're going to expand upon this rule okay so let's add a new line item here i'm going to say i'm going to change this to say they need to spend between um, two and five items and then they'll get five percent off or if they spend over six items so six and above we'll use the asterisk sign again for above we'll give them a percentage discount of 10% okay and again we're scheduling it within this um, time period okay so a few things to note in terms of scheduling it you can do it manually like I'm doing here or you can actually export um, all your pricing rules right and then you can bulk update it in an excel file and then re-upload it and then that will automatically update the schedule date update the pricing and so much more okay so let's go ahead and update this so we'll, I think we'll create another rule on a global level just to show you what it's like. Okay, so let's view product. Okay, so when we refresh this page, we can see our current discount um, here. Okay, so as I said, if we, if we spend two or more, we'll get this 5% discount here, okay? And let's say if we spend over six, then here we're actually saving 10%, okay? So then we can add it to cart and just check out as normal, okay? So it's a quick and easy way to schedule your different pricing changes on your WooCommerce store. Okay, so let's quickly have a look at the global level, how we'd create a similar setup on a global level, okay? So let's head back over to our dashboard and then we'll navigate to WooSuite and then dynamic pricing rules, okay? Okay, so we'll navigate to advanced rules Let's remove this rule. Okay, let's add a category pricing. We can give it a name, it's just for internal purposes, okay? Okay, and quantities based on, we will say, we'll set it based on the sum of the category, okay? And we will say the customer needs to purchase an item within the hoodies category, okay? And then we'll give them a discount on the subsequent purchase they make in the hoodies category, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. Applies to, we've already gone through this. So we just specify who we want this um, offer to apply to. And we can enable it for first time buyers. We can create a bulk um, a pricing rule, tiered pricing and special offer, which is buy one, get one free or bundled um, discount. Okay. So we'll select a special offer here. And then we've got an option to trigger this offer whenever the customer enters in a coupon code. So I'm gonna ignore this for now. And then again, I just wanna schedule this offer, okay? So we'll say this is a one week sale. Okay, so this is only valid um, for one week, okay? So we're gonna say the customer needs to purchase one item, okay? And then they'll receive a discount on the second item, right? So the purchase one, they'll receive a discount on the subsequent ones. So essentially they're purchasing two items, okay? And then we wanna give a percentage discount of 100%, okay? Cause we want the second item to be free. Um, and then here where it says repeating, personally, I'll set this to no, cause you don't want a customer to buy four items. And then essentially they're getting two items for free, okay? So with this turned off, if they purchase four items from the hoodies category, they'll only receive one item for free, okay? So let's go ahead and save changes. Okay, and let's navigate to our categories page cause I wanna be able to select a few products from our hoodies category, okay? So let's go to hoodies. And then let's just view this category. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let's just add two of these um, to our basket, okay? Okay, so we've added one, we can see the price here. And then let's add another one, okay? So you can see we've got two items in our basket and it's for the same price, okay? So we're still paying $13. So that second item, we're getting it for free, okay? And that's a quick and simple way to schedule price changes in your WooCommerce store in just a few simple steps. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.